Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to UK Dreamers. So this is Dr. Aman and today we'll be talking about the various sponsorship pathways for the medical specialities. Uh, the last video I had given a brief overview about the medical training initiative in the medicine and the medical departments. So this is the continual you may say of the previous presentation. So this will not deal about the medical training initiative, but rather uh, the individual trusts that would sponsor you, your GMC and would, uh, you know, let you work in the GMC and the UK. So as I said uh, in my pre uh, previous presentations uh, that I do not represent the Royal College of Physicians or the GMC or the NHS. This is just to guide the various aspirants throughout the world to come to the UK, start working in the UK healthcare system, start for working for the NHS. And if you have further queries about the admissions or like how to contact these trust that I would be explaining you can drop me a message or you can directly contact the NHS trust or the organizing organizations directly so what is the sponsorship pathway for GMC registration I have already made a video regarding the sponsorship pathways for the GMC you can follow that I'll post a link in the end but I'll just give you a brief overview so if you apply through the sponsorship scheme uh, you will have to satisfy the sponsor that you possess knowledge skills and experience that is required for the full registration in the uk uh, each sponsor have laid their own set of skills and uh, you know documentations which has already been approved pre-approved by the gmc if you satisfy their requirements they would issue you a certificate of sponsorship which you would submit to the gmc and they would grant you a registration and later you would be given a certificate of sponsorship to apply for your visas uh, most of the visas in the mti scheme are tf5 visas but uh, most of the uh, visas if directly being given by the trusts like the individual trust programs would be a tier 2 visa so yes you have the added benefit of getting a tier 2 visa if you directly apply to the trust that you have the they are the mentioned on the list so uh, if you would go through the website of gmc there's a list of sponsors for medical specialities uh, i've excluded the psychiatric uh, components in this uh, i will have a separate presentation for the psychiatry uh, sponsorship programs so uh, we would be uh, briefly discussing about few of the trusts that have partnered with various universities and that are giving you an opportunity to come to the UK, get a GMC, work in the UK, get some sort of programs like added super specialty or a postgraduate program like uh, MMED or a MSc or like, you know, they have various nomenclatures or an inter international fellowship scheme or anything. So uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, we have got five basic programs which would give you some uh, program uh, or in entry into the UK through the medical specialties. I'm not talking about the surgical specialties. I'm not talking about psychiatry, rest all other medical specialties. It is, you may say it is just for internal medicine or the sub branches, sub specialties related with the medicine, renal medicine, neurology, stroke medicine, and all and all and all. So, uh, as I said, you can have a look at the screen. So, first, we would be discussing about uh, the Edge Hill University MMED programs. So, this is uh, being uh, you know organized and made by the WWL NHS Trust, short form. It is actually the Wrightington, Wigan, and Lake NHS Trust. So this is a trust in northern part of the England and they offer a MMED program. So let's go ahead and see. So uh, if you see this are the various, various courses being offered by the WWL and they have a collaboration with the Edge Hill University. So actually what's happening here is the Edge Hill University is giving you a MMED degree. Okay, this can be two to three years depending on how you're doing the modules and everything. And 
they are also offering you a GMC registration. They are also giving you a certificate of sponsorship to come to the UK. They're giving you a tier two visa and they are paying you. OK, so if you want to have say if you have an interest in gastroenterology, uh, you maybe you worked in your country in medicine or gastroenterology and you want something extra while you come to the UK, you can all you, you can go ahead and directly enroll in this sort of programs. See, I'm not here to promote uh, this program, but all I'm here to give you an insight that yes, such course do exist. So uh, now you would have a thought that, OK, Aman is giving so many options to us. How do we get in? OK, so once you've made your mind like uh, which subspecialty you want to get into, you can go ahead and learn more about it. So uh, the program is delivered over uh, two to three years, commencing in September each year. Uh, the academic run uh, year runs from the September through July though the dissertation submission would be in September of the second year with either option to defer the dissertation to third year. So as I said, you can make it two years, you can make it three years, depending upon you. Uh, the dissertation will allow you to focus on significant piece of investigative inquiry for conceptualization through completion. So this is a uh, very technical term. So the program team consists of the experienced academic staff of the Edge Hill University and expert clinicians from the Wrightington Wigan and Lay NHS Foundation Trust and the surrounding hospitals. So as I said earlier, it is a collaboration between the Edge Hill University and the WWL NHS Trust and they both come together to give you a course to sponsor you for your registration, to sponsor you for your visas, and you know work normally and get paid as well so if you are joining the MED uh, program in the academic year 2021-22 uh, uh, and are appointed as an international training fellow you can expect the tuition fee to be around 35,000 pounds for the entire course subject to the completion of program within three years uh, so yes if you are from a developing nation, 35,000 pounds looks quite a big sum to you. So as if you are from India, so it's a quite a high sum. But the thing is, you can always apply for scholarships, which is called bursary here. So you may get at least eight to 10,000 pounds something. I gave an interview for with the WWL Trust back in uh, 2019. So I gave it for emergency medicine. Uh, emergency medicine is a different entity, uh, but the, for the MED programs, there were many fellows who were giving the interviews. So the interview and everything went well. I got the offer. I even got a bursary for around 8,000 pounds, but eventually I moved on to a different trust. So as I said, if you have an interest in some of the specialties that I had early shown in the earliest slide, you can definitely think about this sort of program. So uh, the good thing is, if you have any doubts regarding this MMED program at the Agile University and WWL, you, there's a one person contact and that is Miss Julia Berry. You can mail her down. You can uh, serve the uh, website and get her number as well. So she's a very helpful lady. Uh, I like, you know, when I was trying for the interview and everything, I, I might would have called her multiple times. She always had addressed like whatever you have, whatever doubts you have, whatever que queries you have. So in short, if we talk about the pros and cons, so pros is that you get MED pros is that you get tier two, pros is that you get paid. Okay, you might have would have a confusion that how much you're gonna get paid. As I said, salary structure is very standardized in the UK. So even if you're coming as a first year trainee, you would be getting around 38,000 pounds annually plus the banding plus that is the incentives if you work off hours or you work antisocial hours or anything. Okay, so if you want MED, you can contact Miss Julia Berry. So let's move on to the second. So there is another big trust that is the, the Royal Wolverhampton Trust, which is offering uh, clinical fellowship programs. 
so they would be offering clinical fellowship programs among in all these fields it can be emergency it can be general internal medicine diabetes endocrinology renal medicine neurology stroke they, they've got a very big hospital they've got multiple you know uh, branches and specialties subspecialties and everything so uh, the royal wolverhampton nhs trust again joins hands with the university of wolverhampton and then they have introduced this clinical fellowship program so what happens is if you enroll with this there is no fee applicable uh, the trust will entirely sponsor you for the msc program they would be giving you msc in clinical medicine they've got further specialties okay so uh, if the clinical fellows are being uh, offered the post they can always you know go go ahead learn and whatever like there are plenty of opportunities and you can always make up your mind which way which way you want to go so what are the advantages if we talk as i said again uh, you get a sponsored gmc registration you get a tier 2 visa and you get paid the payment is as i said earlier as well depending on the experience you have like if you're applying for the medical specialties if you've cleared your mrcp exams say part one part two and you're struggling with the paces or you don't get the dates uh, with the covid era and everything you can always apply with the royal wolverhampton trust as i said they're big trust and they're definitely you know good in their programs uh, they have a well structured program and uh, you know pathway for everything so the program is suitable for the uk and international doctors seeking clinical experience with a high quality training program and has qualification and career progression post would be offered to the core medical trainees the specialist registrars and the consultants so they offer it as uh, you know from the lowest possible range to the highest possible consultant so you can have job offers ranging from uh, st1 st2 ct1 ct2 that we call here you can be on the middle level rota that is the registrars or you can still be a consultant many young consultants here who have been offered this so what's the fee the fee is none so that's the best advantage that you're getting everything and you're not paying anything back to the organization except your hard work and dedication so if you want to have more queries about uh, this you can mail them at rwh-tr.cfp inquiries at nhs.net and uh, you can serve their website and if you still have any doubts regarding the royal wolverhampton you can you know give me or text me <laughs> because i'm at royal wolverhampton okay the third one uh, this is a very big program but uh, this is exclusively for the indian chaps because this is the british association of physicians of indian origin so this is called bapio so the bapio has its own international fellowship programs which is a very big program to be honest so as you can see learn earn and return so you may find this fascinating term in most of the fellowship programs that's been offered to the international medical graduates even through the mti as well because they don't want uh, you to be you know biased they just want you to come with your best your knowledge your skills learn here and go back to your nation so if we talk about the bapio uh, the Bapio Training Academy will give an advertisement, seek application programs in India. They would screen uh, the applicants, provide list to the NHS Trust. Then, you know, most of the times they would travel to the big conferences in India, like the Epicon and everything. And they may also, you know, have the Skype or video interviews, which is the need of the hour because of the ongoing pandemic. And once you have the offer by the trust, they would, you know, support you with the English exams and, you know, from, you know, tip to toe, like from level zero to up to certain level, they would definitely help you out. It is a very structured program. The only drawback that I've heard from colleagues who are doing this program is they are very slow. Uh, yes, uh, the thing is uh, being like uh, from like uh, developing countries, okay, we think that, okay, if we are applying for something in the UK, it, would, it should be very fast or something. It's not that way. Uh, you have to be patient because you are applying something from overseas. They have their own set of system 
and they are very methodical in whichever approach they would proceed so if they want to say a no to you they still have to you know go through the various steps before they decline your offer not straightforward oh we don't like your cv just go home no if you have sent them a cv they would have to you they have certain scoring points so they would score you and if you find that they find that you're suitable you get an offer for the interview else you get denied and they would give you a reason that why your application was denied so uh, my request for all the you know guys watching it is just be a little patient with any application that you apply to the uk and this is it for today's presentation so my whole sole motto of this channel is to no, make you make more people know that yes there are sponsorship schemes in the UK by which you can come to the UK if you're struggling in your home country uh, like getting slots for the Royal College membership exams because of the pandemic or anything you can think about this uh, if you haven't given PLAB then you can think about this if you given PLAB unfortunately don't you know you don't qualify for the schemes and everything they have further set of information uh, on the basics of like getting sponsored uh, like what are the basic eligibility criteria I've made my videos you can just have a look at them as well so till then if you have any doubts any queries I'm more than happy to address it out so I hope uh, this video gives you a better insight on the sponsorship pathways in the medical specialties and subspecialties uh, do subscribe to our channel and as i said if you have any doubts you can drop me a message so start dreaming about uk and you would be here one day for sure so thank you so much take care cheers bye